Oh, there are few things I enjoy more than settling down at the end of the day with a vintage bottle of champagne and turning on the telly to catch up on my shows. And I know I'm not alone in that. Television has been an escape for people for decades, and it seems like televisions get more innovative, more unbelievable, and more expensive every year. In fact, for the price of the most expensive television in the world, you could get yourself a yacht, a modest house, and maybe even a luxury car. That's why today we'll be talking about just that, the most expensive TV in the world. Along the way, we'll explore the other record-setting televisions as well, from the largest to the thinnest and even the coolest, the most compact TV. First, let's take a look at one of the newest televisions on the market, which also happens to be the most compact. While TVs are often the center of the living room, it doesn't look particularly nice to have them on display all the time, no matter how beautiful or expensive they may be. So, what if you could just make your TV disappear? What if you could, well, I don't know, perhaps make your TV roll up into a box? That's precisely what the LG Signature OLED R does. Way back in 2016, LG introduced a prototype of the rollable OLED display, which was mind-blowing for many. It's hard to think that televisions can roll up like wrapping paper, when 70 years ago, TVs were tiny wooden squares. And just 20 years ago, TVs were, well, we were won't talk about that era of entertainment center aesthetics. In 2018, at CES, LG took it a step further by introducing the 65-inch OLED TV's ability to roll up in a box. And finally, after four years of teasing the design and torturing enthusiasts with the weight, the LG Signature OLED R is ready to hit the market. The display has an 8K resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate, and while the display is all well and good. It's the TV's unique ability to roll away that has remained the star of the product. It rolls up into an aluminium base, which also serves as an outward-facing speaker. There are four color options for the speakers, as well as options to engrave the TV with a personal message, which really adds to the desire of this much sought-after product. At the touch of a button, the TV descends into the speaker, completely disappearing from view. Personally, I think it's a wonderful feature. I'm not much of a fan of my TV blocking my view of the mountains from my living room. However, there is another option. The TV can roll up into what LG refers to as Line View. Line View allows the top section of the screen to pop out of the base slightly, giving you a smaller, less obstructive screen that can serve as a clock, music center, dashboard menu, or even as mood lighting. Sounds pretty dreamy, right? Well, unfortunately, you can't get your hands on this TV just yet. Unless you live in South Korea, LG hasn't yet unveiled their plans for rolling out the product in other markets, but in time, I'm sure it'll come. But before it does, you might want to start saving up a little. The TV currently retails for $87,000, which is still somehow nowhere near the most expensive TV on the market. But don't worry, we'll chat about that TV very soon. The world's thinnest television. First, we've got to talk about size, because regardless of what people say, it matters, especially when it comes to the device you're watching shows and playing games on. Earlier, I may have brought back a repressed memory involving the TVs from the 2000s, which were a bit uh, thick, as the kids say. Some of the televisions had at least a foot's worth of hardware between the screen and the wall. But those days are long, long behind us, because thin TVs are here, and the thinnest of them all is a mere 3.85 millimeters, which translates to roughly 0.15 inches thick. If you need a bit of reference, that's a little larger than the thickness of two quarters stacked on top of each other. To see a television that thin, we'll have to take a look at yet another one of LG's creations. At CES 2017, which I happen to be present at, LG unveiled the thinnest functional television ever made, a 25 millimeter TV dubbed the Wallpaper. And while the TV was never intended to become a commercial product, LG did promise the public that they would have a similar television on the market. And they've kept that promise. They unveiled the LG signature OLED Wallpaper TV, which is quite a feat of engineering. The TV has 8.3 million individually lit pixels that provide vibrant colors, deep dark blacks, and sharp details that are hard to find elsewhere. And while that's already impressive enough, LG has decided to really launch the TV into the future by adding AI ThinQ. AI ThinQ means the TV features Google Assistant, 
which helps transform your home into a smart home. The TV also comes with a sound bar that provides Dolby Atmos audio for a cinematic watching experience right from home. The Wall Since we've talked about the wallpaper, I suppose it's time to talk about the wall. This TV doesn't necessarily have a superlative category, though I'd like to suggest that it's probably the coolest television on the market. Samsung's The Wall is a TV unlike any other, because it's the first modular TV on the market. It comes in individual modules that snap together, not unlike Legos, to form your desired display size and resolution. And there are plenty of options. At the most, the TV can span an impressive 292 inches with 8K resolution. Rather than the OLED displays that are so popular now, the wall utilizes micro LED technology, which offers a comparable visual experience to OLED technology with dark blacks and vibrant colors. And if the wall doesn't tickle your fancy, perhaps the window will. The window is a 75-inch model that offers 4K resolution in its smaller size by incorporating more LEDs into the display. Samsung boasts that the TV can be rearranged to support a variety of aspect ratios. That being said, the price of the window hasn't yet been released. But let's pull a little John and transition from the window back to the wall. The wall's cost hasn't been outright released by Samsung either, though it has been said that it will cost you a couple hundred thousand dollars at least. Yet still, the wall isn't the most expensive TV in the world. But again, stay with me, because we've got just one more TV to explore before we get there. The largest TV in the world. If you're looking for a movie theater experience at home and have at least $1.7 million to spare, look no further than the Titan Zeus, which happens to be the largest television that was for sale in the world. The Titan Zeus spans an impressive 370 inches diagonally. And to save you from the math, that means the television is 26 feet wide and 16 feet tall. For a bit of comparison, here's the insanely large screen with an elephant superimposed in front of it, just to help you get a grasp of how truly massive it really is. Surprisingly, even with the TV's size, it's able to maintain a 4K resolution, meaning the pictures won't only be massive, but also incredibly clear. That being said, getting the TV into your home isn't an easy feat. Only a few of these models were ever sold when they were introduced in 2014, and many of the models that were sold were outfitted to be weather resistant, which surely added quite a bit to the price tag. After all, most people don't have a living room suitable for a 24 by 16 foot television, so outdoor entertainment seems to be the way to go. The TV also weighs close to a ton, so you can't just call up a cousin to help you get it into place. And now, the most expensive TV in the world. Finally, we've reached the most expensive television on the planet, and it is not for anyone with a thin wallet. Imagine you have an extra $2.25 million kicking around. You could perhaps buy yourself a nice house, or maybe a luxury car to go along with it. Or, well, I suppose you could buy a 55-inch television. Of course, it isn't your average 55-inch TV. It's a 55-inch TV that was designed by Stuart Hughes, a British designer known for his over-the-top luxury products. And this TV is certainly over-the-top. Dubbed the Prestige HD Supreme Rose Edition, the TV really uses the word prestige and takes it to the next level. But if you're not a fan of glitz and glamour, well, I don't think this TV is particularly for you. The TV is gilded with 28 kilograms, or 61 pounds, of solid 18 karat gold. And while that amount of gold would be good enough for most people, it didn't quite elevate the TV to Stuart Hughes' standards. So, atop that gilded frame, they included 72 brilliant round-cut one-carat flawless diamonds, in addition to amethyst and sunstone, which is evidently a real gemstone, and not just something from Pokemon. I'm sure my nieces and nephews will be thrilled to hear about it. Aside from the precious metals and gemstones, the TV utilizes one more odd but opulent material, alligator skin. The alligator skin was hand-sewn on the inner screen layer, and if $2.25 million is just a bit too steep for you, you can always opt for the Supreme Rose Edition, which is only priced at a mere $1.5 million. So there you have it, the most expensive, the thinnest, the coolest, the largest, and the most compact TVs on the market. If you could pick any of these TVs for your house, which one would you choose? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and of course, turn on those post notifications. As always, 
I'm Mr. Luxury. Now, if you don't mind me, I've got a show to catch. Pip-pip, the doodly-doo.